So what brought you what brought you back to the United States? Um, my radio career. Now, if you want to get anywhere in radio, uh, probably Okinawa as a launching point career wise is not the ideal place. I did. I slowly climbed the ladder of rock and roll in those days and uh, enjoyed it very much. Now, I was up and down the dial, like WKRP, for example. Um, I was in so many states, and I kept moving to a slightly bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger radio station and spent about a total of, oh, I would guess 20 years, Eric, doing engineering considered myself to be a pretty decent audio engineer and um, was hired by some stations to just work on their audio chains um, and would travel and do that now what I really loved was being on the air Eric and um, so I, I did pretty well I went uh, not all the way as far as one might go in the rock and roll world but uh, I was uh, almost almost got a job in New York City. Actually, auditioned for WABC. Pretty decent job, to be honest with you, and. Um, so up and down the dial and uh, did about 20 years total of rock and roll. And then one day, Eric, somebody asked me if I thought I could do talk, if I, if I thought I could do a talk show. Uh, this was up in Anchorage, Alaska at K-E-N-I. Uh, pretty good sized station in Anchorage, actually, Eric. And uh, so I did a talk show and it was immensely successful. And uh, then I came back to the lower part of the U.S. Again, this is really where the action is. Worked in the uh, Monterey area doing talk. Um, yeah, well, what did you talk about? Because it's my, it's my understanding that you actually changed gears on talk. Oh, I did. Um, I began in talk radio the way everybody in those days began, and that was uh, with political talk radio. And uh, so I talked politics. I, I I don't care. I got interested in it. It was fun. You could have on the air fights. <laughs> you know, it was pretty wild. So um, that's what I did. And then then I took a break after all these years in radio. Uh, I was married at the time. Uh, it was no life because you had to keep moving from town to town and again up and down the dial. Right? No sort of life to uh, uh, continue with. So I said. Okay, that's it. I'm getting out of radio. I went to work uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada for a cable company, and um, I became their chief technician. I built their what's called their head end. That's where all the video processors are. Uh, it's where all the satellite antennas are. It's where the, uh, the microwave shots are, cars band microwave. Uh, pretty big facility, actually, uh, Eric. And I worked my way up. I became became the chief technician after I built everything, and I took care of it for a number of years. Um, when I was building that facility, Eric, I loved it. I mean, it was all technical stuff. I was off to... A large crew of people working for me, I began to get bored, Eric, sitting around waiting for something to break, very well paid, uh, frankly, but um, I don't know, it started to get boring. So one day, 
I got a call from a friend of mine whose name is Jack Dan- was Jack Daniels. I think he may still be around. Uh, and he was working at KDWN in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, it's a it was and I believe still is a talk station. Now, it's a 50,000 watt blowtorch. Uh, 